analysis on the history of social media and next we have instagram so they were found in 2010 and i remember when instagram came the world completely changed society will never be the same because of instagram and so it was able to get started in 2010 and sell for a billion dollars in less than two years absolutely meteoric growth <laughs> and so the problem that they solved is Social networks lack aesthetically pleasing functionality, and so the solution was photo, video sharing, social network service, and, and honestly, I think it's the filters. That's like the big thing that allowed Instagram to catch momentum. So the features they have is a feed, chat, images, they have the filters, the stores, the profile, the bio, the reels. And so Instagram is free, and they make their money through ad revenue. And so they generated 47 billion last year and um yeah so they have over two billion users that use it a month so right now i'm just doing an analysis on the history of social media and i'm doing i'm breaking down 33 companies explaining because like i just see a massive gap in the market where there is no social media for business and so what i'm doing is i'm studying the history of biz op marketplaces social media consulting training and SaaS tools learning a little bit about all these different companies, why they make money, why people spend time on the platforms, and how we as a software company can maximize on the current market and help people make money with these platforms, but also take advantage of the things that they're not doing. And so I've been going through the history of biz ops starting in 1996, and now, like I said, going through social media. And um, what I found is that these business marketplace sites you know, when they were created, most social media sites didn't exist. And that's why a lot of the features that I'm expecting to see on the platform are not available. And so I just want to quickly go to Instagram, right? So the real opportunity for us is to take advantage of influencers. Like this is an example of one, Grant Cardone, who has like a, a vast audience, who has a ton of content. And then we can explain to these, these same influencers and be like, hey, like allow us to post your same content in our app where we are filtering buyer, sellers, and consultants, and we'll be able to drive more traffic to your system. And so obviously we don't have 2 billion users on our platform today, that's why I'm making these videos. But the purpose of, the reason why influencers would be incentivized to add con their content to this platform is, I created a streamlined way for buyers to be happier with their their shopping experience. So if you haven't seen one of my other videos, what we're doing is we're just creating a social network around these business listings. So instead of buyers having to give their information away to each individual uh, listing, they can instead just interact with a, uh, they can interact with the feed and then our consulting team could go to the broker and get the information and comment and directly give it to them. Or we could provide it in the dr a shared drive, or we can send it via direct message to the buyer. And so by creating that curtailed experience to the buyer, we're gonna be able to help sellers and consultants and influencers monetize their content and their audiences more effectively. Because in addition to those features, we have a lot of other things, right? We've got consulting training, we've got, uh, job opportunities from like 14 different influencers that are already on the platform. There is a CRM where we can uh, capture data, monetize data for any different offer, and then we're actually training consultants to be able to call through this data and then to obviously uh, direct it to specific industry uh, influencers. So for example, say we started with an influencer smaller than Grant Cardone, we'd say, hey, post your content into our app, and then provide your link on whatever it is that you're selling and we'd post it into the app and we'd be able to direct buyers to it, uh, that content for them. Using these work groups, using the CRM and the task management system. So uh, an influencer would be able to post content into the app and then you, someone can uh, create a task and say like, I want to learn more about this, this deal or they can, uh, part they can reach out to a business partner and say hey check out this training program uh, another thing that we have that we will be impl implementing is the influencer network where we're just going to be connecting all the influencers in a single place and there will be a single chat where we'll be 
like when an influencer posts con post content, we'll engage with the content in a systematic way through the network, right? So we'll have VAs and copywriters and salespeople that are available to provide engagement to influencers on these platforms to make them more successful over here. And that's gonna be another reason why we're like, look, you give us your content for free, we're gonna be someone that can help engage with your content and the platform that you're already using. And then you could give us shout outs and you promote our $100 program, we split the profit 50-50. And I'm gonna connect you with various other influencers in your same space. And what we can do is we're gonna be able to create a pipeline of influencers that we are um, marketing and monetizing. And we'll be able to connect you guys with brands and, and companies that wanna invest into you. And we'll be able to attract those brands with the system, with the CRM program, with this software. The fact that we can track the profitability and the, the efficiency of staff in a unique way. The fact that our software itself is a tool to companies. So influencers are gonna be able to uh, leverage our system. The fact that we're gonna be connect, uh, attracting buyers. We're gonna be attracting business opportunities. We're gonna be attracting salespeople. And so people that just wanna post content and be influencers, they can do their thing and then we can help monetize their content. We also can help them with their websites. We also can help them with their follow-up, their sales teams. There's a lot of things that we're gonna be able to do by just simply interacting with influencers on Instagram. And uh, similar to how I explained how with YouTube, uh, our platform will eventually become a search engine. We'll be able to do the same thing with Instagram. So say you search Turo, um, eventually there'd be a way you could do like Grant Cardone, right? And then there'd be all Grant Cardone relevant content. And he can have different content that is posted here that he doesn't post in regular social media. And so he can have like, hey, if you want this private training, then go to this platform here. And he gets, and he can split the profit 50-50 with us to make additional capital. And um, we'd be able to track the conversations of the people that are going through his pipeline. We'd be able to teach people how to use the software. We'd be able to give him uh, a shared calendar where you could post a, a, an event and then everyone gets a notification directly to their phone. There's a lot of things that we're gonna be able to provide to Instagram influencers in exchange for them providing us content. So that's why I'm doing a, you know, a breakdown of all these different companies showing what's working for them and how we can capitalize on it. So obviously an advantage that Instagram has is it's completely free. Our product at the moment is not free. It's a $100 one-time payment. However, we do provide a lot of other things that these platforms are providing, which is gonna incentivize people to pay. Um, and as our company scales and eventually when we get funded, we will have a free social network platform that combines a lot of the elements that we've learned from current successful social medias. But in the meantime, we're gonna focus on the consulting training, the listing and the SaaS product to really push the, the needle for the MVP product to get the company profitable, launched and on its way to generating millions of users. So I hope you got great value in this market analysis. We're doing the history of biz ops, social media, consulting training and SaaS tools. Our goal with the acquisition network is to create the social media for buying businesses. And I hope you saw Great value in this market analysis, and I'll see you in the next one. The future of doing business is now. And if you're interested in learning more about the Acquisition Network, just click the link below, and I'll see you on the other side. Take care.